Fatuma Swale has been waiting for her 16-year-old son's body for three days now. He was shot when police entered the Masjid Musa Mosque in Mombasa on Sunday to break up a meeting they believe was radicalizing the youth. Eight people, including a police officer, are said to have been killed. 129 suspects, children, men, mothers carrying babies, were arrested. My son is not a terrorist. He was at the mosque just getting advice on how to live in accordance to the Quran. Police say they found material that can prove that this mosque is being used to recruit fighters to join Somalia's Al-Shabaab. It's one of two mosques in Mombasa under scrutiny. It is a threat to national security and the government cannot just sit back and watch national security being threatened. This man is believed to be one of the radical Muslim leaders here. He has terror-related cases in court, has been banned from traveling outside Kenya without a court order, and has to report to the police two days every week. The, the only people radicalizing the youth in Kenya are the Kenyan police by killing Muslims. Uh, like on Sunday here, what did you expect the Muslims to do while they are being shot at inside a mosque? It's not a secret that there are Al-Shabaab cells actively recruiting from within the country. And Mombasa is said to be one of the major recruitment points. So it is so dangerous. I am so worried to tell you the truth. And I know so many guys, so many kids that they have fallen uh, prey into this. Okay. And they cross over to Somalia. Okay. Take military training. How comes our security forces, our government, and they fail to apprehend and have a, a successful prosecution in court. Back at the Masjid Musa Mosque, the showers spent cartridges, bullet holes, and blood-stained floors, the aftermath of Sunday's bloody clash. They say their young ones were innocently caught up in a meeting whose agenda was wrongly interpreted by the authorities. Catherine Soy, Al Jazeera, Mombasa.